Now that the flooring and trim are done, it's time to get some insulation up on the walls. After much research, i.e. googling, I settled on using 3M Finsulate. I decided to purchase my Finsulate from Adventure Wagon due to their great customer service after buying my auxiliary battery kit from them. They also made purchasing a decent amount of Finsulate from their website fairly easy, having the recommended amount of linear feet right there on the parts page. One thing that I thought was awesome, and that made me wish I had an extra $400, was that Adventure Wagon offers a templated version of their 3M Finsulate for the 2007 Sprinters. I'm sure that they're going to have this for the Ford Transit soon, but I just don't see it on the website yet. But now that I've done the dirty work of cutting all the Finsulate and mounting it on the walls, I want you to know if you have the extra funds or you're working on a timetable, make sure that you buy the templated Finsulate. Before we get started, I wanted to share with you all the tools you'll need to get the job done. Links for all of these will be in the description. One, you need your Thinsulate. Second, use white paint pins, and you'll probably need a few of those to help mark on the Thinsulate. Straight edge ruler, four or five feet in length. Definitely a tape measure. You'll need some 3M spray adhesive, or whatever brand you want to go with. I chose the 77 type. 2 inch masking tape to help hold up your templates as you are trying to make sure that they're the right size and some heavy duty scissors or some leather shears. I found using traditional scissors uh, a little tough to work with on the Thinsulate. Getting a pair of leather shears or heavy duty scissors was what did the trick. First thing for me was to clean the walls. As you saw during the first video I made of the Moto Van build, this thing needed a good cleaning. We've had it since 2007, and it's been all over the United States picking up dust, dirt, mud, and muck. It was time it was removed from the inside of the rolling van of greatness. After the walls were clean, I started on installing the Thinsulate. Here's the process that I went through. I broke the van up into sections. This is smart so you're not jumping around the van and so you break up your progress if you need to do it over a few days like I did. Next, in each section you want to figure out your panels. These will be the separate pieces you cut and attach to the wall ceiling. Make sure you measure your panels. I would measure a tad long so I could trim to a better fit if needed. You cut your thin slate then to fit your panel. You'll need to figure out your scissors or cutting technique, so play around with a few ways to cut the Thinsulate and see what works best for you. Test fit your piece and make adjustments. This is where the masking tape is handy. It allows you to test fit the piece and make trimming, if needed, with free hands. Spray adhesive on panels and piece of Thinsulate. Make sure you do this with ventilation. Feel free to close yourself into a room if you want, but the headache, I promise, will not be worth it. Once adhesive is sticky to the touch, adhere Thinsulate to your panel. Start in a corner and keep tension on the piece as you start to press it up against the wall. Some panels you'll be able to double up the thickness. These are mainly the lower panels and the ceiling. If you're going to use another material after the Thinsulate, you may not want this much thickness. There are some crazy weird shapes in these vans, so another warning, if you don't want to get creative with making shapes, get the templated Thinsulate from Adventure Wagon. There are also a lot of hollow sections that you can stuff with Thinsulate. These are important and I recommend getting as much in there as you can. For the ceiling, have your electrical and ceiling material picked out and ready to go. Don't do like I did and wait, because at some point your insulation will start to fall off the ceiling, regardless of using a strong adhesive. I am adding some furring strips now to attach my ceiling panels. I am trying to keep it simple with my build, so my ceiling panels are just white hardboard panels that I got from Home Depot for about $14 a piece. So there you have it, the 2007 Sprinter van has a floor and insulation. 
If you've been following me on Instagram, you've seen I have the new electrical box built and ready to install. Before I can do that though, I need to finish wiring for the 12 volt circuits and the 120 volt outlets. From there, I'll add the ceiling, then the walls, and then tidy up the electrical. Thanks for watching. Please ask questions in the comments. Links for all parts used are in the description. Remember to follow Seat Time on Instagram to stay up to date with the build, riding dirt bikes, and other shenanigans. We'll see y'all for the next video.